Hi boys and girls, welcome back to our story, Frindo. <clears throat> Hope you are enjoying our story so far. We are on chapter 11, so we're really coming along. So let's get started. Chapter 11, extra, extra, read all about it. On Thursday morning, the Westfield Gazette was delivered to all 12,297 homes and post offices off boxes in Westfield. The story about Lincoln Elementary School was the first item on the front page, and the headline? Local fifth grader says, move on, Mr. Webster. It was quite an article. Not that Judy Morgan didn't tell the truth. Every statement in the article was completely true. It was the particular way she told the truth that got things hopping around town. For example, take the sentence about Mrs. Granger. Mrs. Granger, champion of the forces of order and authority and battling hundreds of young frindle, frindle my, fighters. Neither side is giving in. Neither side is giving in. Or this bit about Nick. Everyone agrees that Nick Allen masterminded this plot that clever, cleverly raised issues about free speech and academic rules. He is the boy who invented the new word. Or this last sentence in the article. One thing is, sh is sure. The kids at Lincoln Elementary School love their frindles, and no one seems to be backing off in this war of the words. And of course, the Westfield Gazette published the class picture too, and Mrs. Granger and Nick were identified for all the world to see. What is the meaning of this? That's what Nick's mother said, putting the article in front of Nick's nose when he got home from school. Did you talk to this reporter? She seems to know an awful lot about you and your new word, young man. What is the meaning of this? That, that's what the school superintendent said to Mrs. Chatham, slapping a copy of the article onto her desk. Why did you talk to her? Have to talk to, to that reporter? Don't we have enough trouble getting the taxpayers to pay for the schools without articles like this banging around town? What is the meaning of this? That's what Miss Chatham said to Mrs. Granger, shaking the newspaper in front of her face. I know you had to talk to that woman, but did you have to say all these things? It'll be a wonder if we don't all get fired. It was quite a Thursday for everyone, and no one could figure out why Judy Morgan had gotten that fifth. How Judy Morgan Morgan had gotten that fifth grade class picture. So we just finished chapter eleven. Let's see how long chapter twelve is. Ooh, I'm gonna save chapter twelve for tomorrow. So let's figure out um, tomorrow what happens with the story and why everyone's so upset that they're talking about it. Um, I don't, I wonder what's going to happen and see what Nick's mom's going to have to say, Miss Chatham, Miss Granger, the superintendent, um, who knows? All right, guys, have a great rest of your night. Bye.